you to draw 3% depth dose curves for 6 MeV with your calibration setup, an extended SSD, and small field, and then do the same for the beam profiles. So for the percent depth doses, I'm going to try to get a little fancy and use different colors. Hopefully this will translate well. So on our y-axis, we just have our percent dose, and then here we can have depth. So for your normal percent depth dose at calibration setup, you're going to have an SSD of 100. So you should certainly know what a electron beam percent depth dose looks like. Again, sometimes drawings on the exam, you don't have to be perfect. You got to get in the general realm and be able to describe them. So right here, again, is this a perfect representation of electron curve? Probably not, but it's close enough. So now let's talk about the, and that again is at 100 SSD. So now let's talk about the extended SSD. So for here, this may start just a little below, I mean, barely below the surface dose of the percent depth dose at 100 SSD. But what you're going to notice is it's going to travel farther out like this, as you can see. And then it's going to have a similar slope drop and kind of diverge there at the end and meet with the 100%. So that is what an extended SSD, and specifically, I modeled that around 115 cm SSD. So now let's move to a small field. And again, small field may be just a tiny bit less on the surface dose of percent or percent dose it's going to be a little smaller than the 100 cm SSD. You're going to have a smaller curve initially. You're going to have a similar drop off, and then it's going to meet. Uh, this probably, probably honestly, if you're going to draw this, it's going to look a little more, little more solid, something like that. That's probably a better representative. So. That is what you want, 3% depth doses, really for the exam, be able to draw this for this and photons, be able to understand it, practice it if you will. The more you draw it, the more it will get stuck in your head, so it's probably a good thing anyhow. So now let's talk about beam profiles. So the very first thing, let's talk about different energies of beam profiles. So we are going to draw our axes here. And let's just have our first energy come up. This is going to be a flattened beam. Certainly, you could ask that. This is photo or electron, so certainly should be flattened. And then if you have a different energy, let's say it's going to start out a little higher. It's still going to meet because, remember, this is going to be relative. Oh, hop up. There we go, come down, and then it will spike out. Uh, that probably shouldn't come in, but again, my drawing ability is limited. So that's what a different energy could potentially look like. So now let's jump into the SSDs, extended SSDs. So right here, we have our axes. Let's say a normal SSD is going to look something like this. Alrighty, and that is SSD at 100 cm. Now let's hop to, let's do something like 120, something that it's going to be pretty obvious there's a big difference here. And so at 120, we're going to have a slope that looks more like this, a lot less defined than the 100 and you'll see there's a lot more penumbra. Like, it's just not as well defined. Again, pardon the drawing, but that is, in general, what an extended SSD would look like. And then let's talk about the various sizes for field size. So, for example, let's do a 40 by 40. So this is going to be real big. So it may come up here, 
it's gonna obviously it's gonna be huge it's a 40 by 40 it's a very big field and again this is gonna be relative so this graph and so you're going to 100 percent intensity right there so now let's cut this down to a 10 by 10 so it's going to be smaller it's gonna follow similar to the 40 it's just not gonna be it's not gonna extend as far laterally where you have the distance that makes sense right and then also let's do a two by two so something much smaller and what you are going to see here is a much less defined field this should go a little farther down and over so you don't get the hardened beam edges like you do for a 10 by 10 because a two by two is just so much smaller and that is what that beam profile would look like con has a lot of these a lot of research publications has these as well do your research and know how to draw these and how to describe them even if you have to do it verbally be sure you can do that and i think that really will aid you in your exam in case they start to delve into this territory Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below.